From the Chuck Berry stages in Hollywood, California, it's The Dating Game. And here's the star of the show, your host, Jim Lang. Thank you. That, whoa. Thank you very much. Thank you. And welcome once again to The Dating Game. And it's time to meet our first three eligible bachelors for game number one. And here they are. Welcome, gentlemen. Bachelor number one is the president and sole member of the Adolf Manjou fan club. He enjoys poetry, juggling, and tightrope walking when he's not speaking pig Latin. Please welcome back dating game alumnus, Sandy Grand. Bachelor number two is another dating game alumnus who loves to swim and fish and one day hopes to get a real estate license. He's originally from Germany. He's the lovely Robert Lamb. Robert. And bachelor number three is an administrative assistant who's won swimming and debating awards. He loves music and horseback riding from Walton, Massachusetts. Greet Larry Buffy. Those are our three bachelors, and now it's time to meet our young lady for game number one, and here she is. This bundle of energy has her sights set on becoming an actress. She's worked in the theater and loves to go to films, go jogging and biking, or just hang out singing. She's also a sports nut. She is the terrific Terry Finkelstein. Hello, Terry. Come on over by your little chair here. There we go. Stay right there. Now, you know how to play the game, right? Game is simple. You ask the questions, anything except name, age, occupation, or income, and they answer, and then you choose a date. Simple as that, all right? We'll start with a hello and just see how they sound over there. Number one, would you please say hello to Terry? Okay, which one of you two is Terry? Uh, I'm Jim. Oh, hi, Terry. Nice wall. Okay, how about bachelor number two? Hello, Terry. I'm waiting for... Excuse me. You're... I'm waiting to get the date with you. All right. And bachelor number three, how about you? Hello, Terry. How you doing? All right, Terry. That gives you a little idea of what they sound like. You stay right here, and you stay right there. And we'll be right back to play the game after these words. Go the way. Welcome back to the dating game. All right, Terry. Got your questions all set? You ready to play? Have a seat, then. Make yourself comfortable, Terry. Terry is situated, gentlemen. Stand by, because here we go. Hello, fellas. Hello, oh, Terry's. OK. <laughs> Bachelor number one, what do you like to see on a woman's face? Definitely two eyes. Uh, that... Nose. No maps of large countries. <laughs> is that all? You want more? Sure. Um, a freshly shaven face, no mustaches, and uh, <laughs> with the words, that's her number one on her lips, on the soft moonlight of the nighttime. You can cut me any time. Thank you, bachelor number will... one. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Terry. Call me again. Bachelor number two, what was your all-time favorite way to whip your mother into a frenzy of aggravation? Well, what I would try to do is not try to get her aggravated. I would try to be polite and kind and treat her with respect like I would treat you. Boy. <laughs> Sounds like a mother's boy. Are no, you... I'm not. I'm your boy. I'm your boy. Okay, good, good. <laughs> they should all be like you. Okay, bachelor number three. I had a dream that you were bald, fat, and had no money. How close did I come to the truth and be honest? Okay, I'll be very honest. Uh, you missed it really bad. <laughs> well, that's okay. You probably... You probably dreamed a lot of other nice things about me, though, because I know we're going to have a good time. Okay, well, with all that money, I'm sure we will. <laughs> okay, uh, thank you. Bachelor number one. Yes, welcome what's back. What's the best lie to tell a girl when you want to be alone? I have to go to the bathroom. <laughs> Can't you think of anything better than that? Oh. Like I don't like you or 
You don't leave? like me, Terry? Terry doesn't like me. No! <laughs> I thought she... Oh, I get it. That was a suggestion. Um, no, I wouldn't want to tell her that. I would tell her probably that in my closet are three Cub Scouts and 50 feet of rubber tubing. And that I'm about to have an expensive meeting and I want to... Uh, I'd probably tell her I had to go to the bathroom. <laughs> okay, thank you. Bachelor number two. Tell me about the weirdest person who's ever sat next to you on an airplane. And if you've never been on an airplane, then make it a bus. Well, I just can tell you, I just came back from Tennessee sa Saturday night. And I didn't get to sit next to a, a weirdest lady or girl, but she's never been weird in my life. I've always met the nicest girls on the airplanes I've ever flown on. What about a bus? Haven't you ever been on a bus? Well, not lately, but I've all, never sat by a girl on a bus either. And that's honest truth. Well, she didn't say it had to be a girl. She's the weirdest person. Never met a weirdest person. I've always met nice, polite people on buses or planes. <laughs> okay. Okay, bachelor number three. Nothing th seems to be good for you these days. What do you think people will be doing next year that'll be bad for their health? Probably smoking too much, drinking too much. They're already doing that. Well, they're going to be doing more of it. Haven't you been seeing the statistics? Yeah, I've seen them. Well, they're getting worse instead of better. Okay, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Think she was looking for something new. <laughs> okay, bachelor number one. I'm depressed. Uh, bachelor number one, what assumptions could I make about you just by looking at your rear end? that you're standing behind me. Uh. <laughs> Is that the truth? <laughs> Bachelor number one, I hope that's not the truth. Where do you want my rear end to be? <laughs> I'm sorry, I, I'm putting you in a hole. I hope you're sitting on it. Okay, yes. Bachelor number two. <laughs> yes, Terry. I'm interested in your vocal cords. Let's hear you hit the highest notes you can. Bachelor number two? Yes, I'm here. <laughs> um, the highest vocal cord would be that I love you. <laughs> Do you love me? <laughs> well, I hope to if I get the, if I get the date. Oh, uh, how sweet. <laughs> okay, bachelor number three. <laughs> Um, I'm interested in your vocal cords also. Let's hear you hit the highest note you can. <laughs> that was really high. Okay, uh, bachelor number two. Yes, Terry. If we had been going out together for three years and all of a sudden I ran away and got married, what message would you have waiting at my honeymoon cottage for me and my new husband? Well, what I would do is tell you that you made the biggest mistake in your life and you should have married me. Why is that? Well, I've become a very handsome guy. <laughs> oh, game's over, Terry. Now, based on what you heard, you have to make a choice. And we'll be right back with Terry's decision as to which of our bachelors gets the day right after these words. Don't go away. to the dating game. All right, Terry, we've reached the moment now. You have to tell us which one of those bachelors gets the big date with you. Will it be bachelor number one, bachelor number two, or bachelor number three? Who's the lucky fellow? Uh, bachelor number two. Number two! You said two. Uh, you made a man very happy. Why did you choose number two? Uh, he got along with his mother. Because he got along with his mother. That's a good reason. Good reason. Let me introduce you to the bachelors. You didn't choose. You didn't select number one. He's an alumni bachelor. He's been here before. President of the Adolf Manju Fan Club. Loves poetry and juggling. Say hello to Big G, Sandy Grin. Sandy, come on and say hi, please. please. Yes. You could assume you were behind him if you were, well, that was a good answer, Sandy. And you didn't choose bachelor number three either now, Terry. He's an administrative assistant. He loves to swim. He has won oration awards from Massachusetts, Larry Buffy. Larry, come on and say hello, please. Oh, whoa, wait a minute.
a minute, guys. And I now pronounce you married, all right? Or at least you're engaged. Hey, thank you for being on the show. Great answers. Come back and see us again. I know you will, Sandy. All right. You missed those two guys. Are you ready for Mr. Wright? Let me tell you something about the man you chose, bachelor number two. He's working on his real estate license. He loves to swim and fish. Born in Germany, your date is Robert Lamb. Robert, come on. to know that you are two very lucky dating game winners. Out to especially Robert. Lucky in the sense that fate has brought the two of you together, and lucky in the fact that you're going to a terrific place, because we're sending you <laughs> all the way to Lake Tahoe, Nevada! All your super running and fun will begin at your holiday headquarters, Tahoe's Lakeland Village, truly a dater's fun zone for all four seasons, including towering pines, private sandy beach, two heated swimming pools, and the finest in accommodations. We did say all four seasons, so just for the fun of it, you might like to try a cooling romp in the snow, ending up with a romantic plunge into a hot jacuzzi. Oh, that sounds good. Then it's off to a gourmet treat at the Pamanandas restaurant at South Lake Tahoe, the in place for skiers to meet after a day on the slopes. Have a wonderful time. Robert, there we go. Have a good time. All right, thank you, Joe. You were super. Have fun on your day, okay? Before we begin our next game, let's find out what our runners-up will receive. And once again, here's Johnny.